Hi guys, quick update about my Void Linux machine, which is actually back home in Singapore while I'm here in Malaysia. I connected a USB disk to it, copied across the blockchain, which stands at 197 gigabytes right now. It running with this run file. And it was pretty simple. I'm, I'm just checking if the Bitcoin directory is there and then I exec it. There's no etc bitcoin conf. Um, I'm assuming the default config is, is sane, you know, unlike one of those other programs. What is it? Old MTA that had the most, is it Sendmail that had the most insane default conf configuration. And oh yeah, Squid, it, I think is an honorable mention. <clears throat> so that was fairly easy, but um, then I thought to myself, how easy is, is it to build packages in Void, in Void Linux? Because an Arch is very simple, make package, it's beautiful. Um, the template doesn't, it looks like quite a lot like Arch, I guess. I don't know if this is shell. Is this shell? Looks like shell. I think that's one complaint people had about the Arch Linux package build is that shell is what Turing complete. So you can have vulnerabilities in there. You can basically do stuff. But the thing is, I was confused. Like, okay, this is quite simple. This is this is to do with me. But if I if I gave them a generic sort of service file, would they accept it? I don't really know. I mean, to be honest, I didn't get very far at all. The the I set up a ch root, which it seemed to require to build things, but then it didn't incorporate the package config, which is in the template somewhere. Um, Oh yeah, it's uh, source packages, uh, Bitcoin. Um, yeah, it's in the template. You just have to trust me. It's there. See, but it didn't build it in. Uh, I don't really understand. And of course, git status is useless. It doesn't show you where the build artifacts are, which I expected to. And I asked a couple of questions on WeChat and they couldn't really help me. So. I think I'm going to give up with becoming a contributor for Voidlex. And to be honest, I don't have the time. I really don't. I don't have the time to figure out these things. So, oh, there's another thing. I'm using I'm using WeChat because I ever see the the Nick Keller script I was using before required Perl, and I, and one of my little goals for this Nook thing was or oh, this Void knuckles machine that I have here is not to run Perl. You know, it'd be great to not run Perl, not run Python. Um, um, but to be honest, I haven't figured out how to get Git working without Perl. So if anyone knows, I, I did ask here, but I think there's a special serious package uh, for Git, but um, I think it was missing some SSL stuff. I can't really remember. Um, so yeah, I'm running um, a full node. Does anyone else run a full node? Um, I don't understand how the wallet component works to it. Um, I've got, what, 58 people connected to me right now. Um, to be honest, I have, I have my, my wallet on other places like blockchain info or whatever, which doesn't seem to work at all. Um, I wanna see block, <laughs> I encourage you to run um, a Bitcoin server since, you know, why not? It's, um, yeah, I don't, I, I, I'm really fed up with being, um, with banking with traditional banks. I can't actually even use my bank in, in Singapore because in my mobile, I'm, I'm using a Malaysian SIM card and I just cannot be bothered to swap out my, my into my Singapore SIM card to, to receive like a, a $1 text um, to, so, so that I can use that as a challenge with this. Oh, yo, yo. Okay, so yeah, Void Linux. I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry on with it. It works, kind of. It hasn't given me any great insights. Muscle works. I quite like WeChat. Yeah, I like I like widget the the way it alerts you is quite clever. I get I get like an alert up here in DWM.
when someone messages me. Not that not that notifications is a good thing, but and what else is good about it? Doesn't require Perl. Okay, please like the video, please subscribe, and please comment below if you know better. Bye guys.